Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the statistics. Today we will discuss about Niemann-Pearson lemma and its proof. Myself, Dr. Gurk, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. Firstly, we will discuss about its statement. Like here, what is the Niemann-Pearson uh, lemma says? If you have some critical reason W, which is corresponding to the null hypothesis H0, this is the rejection region, or you can call as uh, rejected H0, and this is called as the accepted H0. and this alpha is called as the type 1 error then of size alpha that is also called as the level of significance then any of the element which lies in this critical region w that is any of the values lies in here then l1 that is a likelihood function of the under h0 and at l0 is a likelihood function over the h0 the ratio of them will be greater than of the k and w complement that is lies here the ratio will be opposite of them so whenever this condition satisfied then the that critical reason w is called as the most powerful critical reason or it is also called as the best critical reason somebody uh, someone or some books called as the bcr it's a well known notation about the testing of hypothesis against the hypothesis h0 and h1 make sure that the hypothesis are your simple alternative hypothesis Uh, in this newman pearson lemma you may observe that there are the two major factors one is the critical reason and the most powerful uh, pa powerful reason are there what is the meaning of the most powerful and the critical reason so before understanding the proof of this lemma we must recall that what is the critical reason level of significance power of the test uh, as we already discussed in our last lecture that is a, what is a simple and composite hypothesis what is a type 1 and the type 2 are and the level of significance you can watch Uh, this critical reason level of significance power of the test all are available in these two videos in the playlist uh, testing of the hypothesis channel name dr harish garbi so let's say quickly recall about that uh, we need a fraction of the minutes we say so any of the reason which divides the rejection and the accepted reason called as the critical value and the corresponding reason is called as the critical reason it is denoted by w always or you can say uh, this is the line which is, this is called as the critical value which divides the reason into the two portion the portion which are lies on the critical part that is called as the type 1 error uh, that is uh, rejecting the h0 whenever h0 is true or you can like like this way probability x lies in the rejected reason critical reason provided it is true and we can write as integration of likelihood function on the other hand if you write like here what is this is if this is my alpha and then it will be my 1 minus alpha on the other hand if you write like the hypothesis h1 that is called as the alternative then this critical reason the opposite of this is called as the type 2 error which is called as the accepting the h0 this is the portion this is the portion which are lies in the accepted h0 when h0 is false and it is denoted like here x lies in the accepted reason when h h1 is false means h1 is accepted area and again it is lies in the integration of the likelihood function now this is the portion which is a uh, uh, this is a type 1 and the type 2 error that we already discussed in these last two videos now uh, what is the level of the significance is this is the probability of the type 1 error it is called as the alpha and the power of the test is nothing but the 1 minus beta and you have to remember this definitions now what is the most powerful test are there so if you have the simple hypothesis simple means that is equality must be there against the simple alternative are there then the critical reason w whatever the critical reason w is said to be the most powerful critical reason or sometime it called as the most powerful test of the level of significance alpha when whenever the definition of the critical reason is whenever x lies belongs to the w provided h0 is true is called as here and what is that this is nothing but my beta what is that if you remember that x belongs to w condition h1 if you look at that x belongs to w belongs to this this is nothing but the power of the test so you can say this is my here and this is corresponding to the h1 this is the w1 what is the w1 is that is a another for any other critical reason which satisfied this property so it means if you draw the any of the critical reason like here so this is my critical reason whatever the critical reason are there again it will satisfy but the reason is greater than of the original value then you can say it's the most powerful test so let's say how you can define the proof of the newman pearson lemma this is the uh, statement of the newman so that is a w is the uh, most powerful test proof is very simple we will try to complete in a within a 3 to 4 lines are there 
so let's say since what is given to you this is the critical reason of size alpha is given to you it means this value is here apply the definition of this critical value we can call as alpha that is lies between here and the power of the test is given by here now in order to prove whether uh, this is the most uh, most powerful test we have to see we prove that there does not exist any other critical value that of say size alpha 1 which is here which is more powerful than what is the meaning of that it assume that w1 is the any critical reason of size alpha 1 it means there is some another critical value say this is of size alpha 1 and here so once it is a critical reason again we have to apply this one this is for the alpha 1 and the w1 apply same definition for here for the critical reason w1 r here now our target is to prove here so since by the definition of the mp test we have to prove for this and power test must be greater than here this part we easily prove that because it is the by definition this part we already proved that now my target is to prove 1 minus beta must be greater than of the 1 minus beta 1 this is our target only to prove how you can prove that you can see here so i since alpha 1 is less than equal to alpha so we have to define here this is the value of here now if you look about this shaded portion you can see i can divide this portion here whatever the intersection portion that call as the c apart from the intersection portion i call as the alpha and beta so i call as w as my a intersection c a and c collection of this like here so if i divide this portion as of here this is the portion of a which is portion of only here this is the intersection portion c and this is b i denoted a and c union as my c b union c as my w1 now it is given that alpha1 is less than of the alpha so apply the definition of the alpha1 that is the integration of here what is the w1 is b union c so i can replace w1 as a b union c now i can write this value as b intersection of the c which is less than of the a intersection of the c over the l0 now you can see i can cancel out this c and the remaining part is inter uh, in area under the l0 over the b and a now if you look about the w reason what is given to you in the newman pearson lemma for any of the value which are like set can you find any of this set which is belongs to the w yes you can see a belongs to the w it means this definition holds for the a so since a is the subset of the w so it means this definition hold so i can integrate this over the w so i can write this value as of here over this subset a what is the value of this integration of the a l0 i can see from here this is nothing but greater than of k times l0 i can write like this way easily now for the w1 so if for any of the element which are lies in the w complement we have here what is that if this is my w what is the w complement so if you look about that this is my outside portion this is whole my w can you find any of the subset yes b is the subset of the w bar because what is the w bar complement of this so you can write as this is the integration of the w bar now take any of the elements the w bar since b is the subset of the w bar so i can replace this value as of b is here you can see i can replace this value as of b now since it is a b i can add the element what is the value of this you can see from here i can uh, compute the value of this as nothing but less than of this value so by using equation number 1 we can write here now we can add this inter uh, intersection c over the l1 on the both side what is that on the left hand side it's a b and c that is a w1 on the left hand side this is a and c that is nothing but w so what is the meaning of that what is the value of this what is the value of this you can see integration of l1 over the w1 so you can see integration of the l1 over the w1 is nothing but 1 minus beta and other is 1 minus uh, beta 1 so i can substitute the value here because this value is given to you so that's our target because you can see so now this property holds what is the meaning of that it means by the definition of the most powerful test w is the most critical reason or called as the best critical reason of this reason so that's a simple quiet proof of this newman pearson lemma 
we will see in the next class how you can solve these examples related to the Neumann Pearson lemma. Till then, you can simply follow the playlist testing of the hypothesis, channel name Dr. Harikar, where you can find the various uh, proofs as well as the example in the shortcut tricks are there. Till then, you can simply follow this link for finding the various best of luck students. Happy learning.